If you've been thinking about scratch building a cub, uh, you've probably been doing a good bit of research regarding uh, tubing, jig tables, welders, and so on. And if you've done much poking around on the internet, uh, you probably eventually stumbled onto one of those companies that provides the, uh, the CNC cut uh, tubing kits. You know, everything's already pre-cut, everything's done on CNC machines and all that. Everything fits perfectly together and all that. And uh, these kits are really, they're, they're really nice. There's no two ways about it. Um, I, I know one, one company advertises that you can't slip a piece of paper in between where they've coped or notched or fish mouth, whatever term you want to use, where they've coped a tube, you can't get a, a, a piece of paper in between the uncut tube and a coped tube. I mean, they're that nice. The problem with those, those CNC kits is, uh, is the price, all right? It turns a, uh, a $1,000 to $1,200 budget, depending on what airplane you're building, into about a three or $4,000 price tag, okay? <laughs> that $4,000, that sends most people back to the uh, eyeball, mark, you know, and, and hand uh, cope uh, method. And, and you know what? And, and that's, that's fine. Uh, people have been, you know, coping, hand coping tubes for airplanes for, well, uh, 100 years. But what I want to show you is a simple online tool to allow you to uh, make really accurate patterns so that you can mark and notch your tubing really, really accurately. It's amazing uh, how, how really well this, uh, this program works. And it's from an online company called uh, MetalGeek.com. And the most amazing thing is it's free. Now, it's my understanding that MetalGeek.com actually started to support the bicycle industry. You know, I guess there were privateers out there building their own bicycles. And hey, that's great. You know, they build their bicycles with tubing. We build our airplanes with tubing. And uh, anyway, so this is a great, great resource. It's amazing how accurate you can get these patterns and you just blacken the area, you know, remove that area that's black and, and the tubes fit together wonderfully. Here, let, let me show you. So the easiest way to find Metal Geek the first time is just use your favorite search engine. And uh, here's the top uh, hit right here, Metal Geek uh, Tube Coping Calculator. And there it is, simple as that. Now that you, you, you find it, you can go ahead and bookmark that so you can go to it again. But uh, this is actually the pattern right here. This is what you'll cut out and wrap around the tube. So uh, the way you do it is just input your, your tubing size. So diameter one, that's the tube that you're actually going to cope. All right, diameter tube is the, uh, the tube that uh, you're going to cope to. In other words, you're not gonna cut it. You're going to cut uh, diameter one. So for this, this example, we'll use uh, you know three quarter inch, we'll say. And wall thickness, uh, yeah, we'll leave that at 049. And diameter two, we'll say that's seven eighths, all right? and at 90 degrees. So uh, that's about all you have to do. And then uh, watch this um, as I hit recalculate over here. Watch this, the pattern will change. So now that you've hit recalculate, you can just go over here and click on it. And that'll bring up your pattern right there. And uh, then at that point, just print. And so when it prints out, it looks just like that. It looks just like it did on the computer screen. So now all you have to do is cut it out with your scissors and you'll be able to re ready to wrap it around the tube and uh, you know, mark the area that you need to cut out. Now here's your tip of the week. Rather than cut it right on the line all the way around, obviously where, you, where the coping takes place, you wanna put that right on the line. But uh, on the sides, I leave a little extra material there, and that's so uh, it makes it easier to wrap. So uh, let me just cut this out. Okay, so I cut that area out right on the line, all right? But past that, I'm gonna give myself a little extra. And 
and the rest of this isn't really critical. So there we have it. You know, this is actually what you're going to cut off the tube. So now you're ready to wrap the, uh, the uh, pattern around the tube, but here's your next tip of the week. Before you, you uh, put the, the pattern on there, run a line from end to end. Why do you do that? Well, there's a few different reasons, but uh, one of them is when you have this line on here like this, uh, it sort of helps you line this up, but, uh, but when you wrap the pattern around there, you'll, the one line's gonna end up on top of the next line, on the, on the first line, so that helps you line that up. But where it really comes into play is it when you're coping both ends, uh, you know, this line is at the same orientation longitudinally uh, end to end, all right? So you wrap the, the pattern around this end, you come back around and wrap it around this end, lining up the same lines. Well, you know that the copes on both ends are consistent with each other. So anyway, there's your, your second tip of the week. So we'll just take this and uh, wrap it around. And here's your third tip of the week. The tops of these tips right here, put them right on the edge of the end of the tube, all right? And uh, that way that you have much less to grind off. And um, here's your next tip of the week. Man, you're, you guys are gonna be set till the end of the year. Um, a lot of people, if you know, they'll, they'll buy tubing in 20 foot lengths. And let's say, for example, a, a tube that they want to cut is, uh, make up numbers, 18 and 7 8 inches. Okay, what they'll do is they'll go to that 20 foot section and just measure off 20 inches and cut that. You know, I recommend that you don't do it that way. Uh, if at all possible, um, take your pattern, put it right on the end of that 20 footer, draw your line, all right, and you know that that's an 18 and 7 8 uh, inch tube. Uh, well, you can measure, because of, of this line, you can measure, you know, from, from the valley of one of the copes all the way out to where you get 18 and 7 eighths. Uh, put this, the, this pattern right there at that point. Wrap it around, darken that area, and then cut the tube off. Rather than cutting a 20 inch tube, put your pattern on there, and right where these tips are, that's the, the longest part of the tube. Cut it off right there. Now. Why do you do that? Uh, well, a few different reasons. Uh, yeah, it saves a little bit of tubing. Not that much, but it does save some. But what it does save is it saves you from having to make a third cut. In other words, you're, you have this 20 inch tube. It only has to be 18 and 7 eighths inches long. So now you've got this amount that you're gonna cut off. You're gonna cut that off with a hacksaw, which means now you're making a third cut. Or, worse yet, you're gonna just sit there with a grinder and just grind all that away, which means you're putting, you know, grinding wheel dust in the air as far, and also, you know, chromium dust in the air and all that, and it's just, uh, you know, the best thing to do, I think, is to lay your pattern on, on the end of the tube, even if it's a 20 footer, you know, first of all, draw your line, lay this on there, and then measure your 18 and 7 eighths inches, turn your pattern around, remark the other end, and cut it right at the end of what you need. And then just take the, the uh, metal off from there. So, uh, and here's another tip of the week. Okay, now we're into next year. These patterns, they, when they print out, they have what the, the patterns are for on here, okay? For example, this one is for a 3 quarter inch tube, 049, and it's going to cope up to a parent tube that's 7 8 inch in diameter at 90 degrees. Well, you know what? Save this, all right? Have a file with different envelopes in it, and say, for example, this one could be just 3 quarter inch. Just put 3 quarter or .75 on the, uh, on the envelope, and every time you make one of these, slide those in that envelope. You'll have one for half inch, 3 8 9 16 7 8 whatever. Hey, next time you're there at the, uh, the hangar, if you don't have a, a printer, you know, you just go to that envelope and see if you've made one of these before. You know, you'll end up making uh, several, and so uh, save them. You know, you can, you can use them again. Anyway, back to where we were. So we're gonna wrap this pattern. See, this is why I got this extra 
extra uh, material on the end of this pattern. So I can wrap this around and it actually wraps over itself uh, to, to a pretty good degree. Okay, so here I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to blacken that tube right here. See, this is just the way it's going to go onto that piece of 7H tube in theory. And you just blacken that and uh, you know, and you blacken the other side as well. Now I say blacken, you know, a lot of guys like using uh, silver pencils. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that in the light. Well, what you want to do is, is you cut that part out and it'll go right on to a 7 8 tube. And I probably could have taken a little better time to blacken that, blacken that in, but uh, it's a wonderful online tool and these patterns just work incredibly well um, and so um, I, I highly recommend it and um, thanks to the people at metalgeek.com I've never met them I've never spoken to anyone there I don't have no idea who's involved with that uh, organization but thank you and um, and also thank you for watching and thank you if, if any of this is helpful to you or interesting to you, uh, you can do me a big favor and uh, click the thumbs up. You know, that'll really tell me that I'm doing the right thing. And uh, if you think, if you have friends that are like-minded and you think would enjoy this, uh, man, uh, share my videos on your social media. That uh, will really, really help me build the channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Subscribers is the way you know that uh, you're reaching people and you're doing the right thing. So uh, thank you for watching, appreciate it, take care.